Hi, I'm Paul from Test Data Services, and the previous video showed a complete install of Load Runner Developer in a Windows environment. Now, Load Runner Developer is supposed to work in three different environments on Windows, on Linux, and on Mac. So I'm just going to quickly walk through Mac and Linux right now. So this is a Linux uh, window. It's just a vanilla Amazon uh, Linux. All I did was I downloaded uh, the appropriate files for um, Load Runner uh, Developer, and I unzipped them. I didn't set any environment variables, didn't do anything. Then I downloaded um, the same script that we developed yesterday that's in the previous um, video. And uh, if you go down to the description of the previous video, I'll put a link down below as well. Just download this demo one script, unzip it, and then you can run it. So if I was to just run this right now, I'll move it over here. Uh, all I need to do is go back in my history so I don't have to type it wrong. Um, if I say dev web demo, it's going to run that script on a Linux uh, environment, uh, which, is, which is great. Now what I'll show you though is while it's doing that, um, when it finishes, let's just scroll up here and we'll look for the email address. There it is, Bobby Menzies. So we'll copy that and paste it into here and hit refresh. And we can see it's confirmed and we can see the details here. Um, 7.11.09, 7.11.02, and we can see down here 7.11.41. So that's just happened. So that's a good thing. Now, the other next thing we can do, that's a single user mode. Notice when I did that, I said dev, dev, lab, uh, dev web demo one. If I just change this and add in uh, mode load and then do it, oh, mode, not more, mode. Um, it'll run it as a load test, but I've only set the YAML, uh, scenario YAML file up to do a single uh, test. So to make it a bit more sophisticated, if I just um, VI uh, demo one scenario YAML, let's make it 50 users. Let's make the pacing of oh, the one ramp up uh, of say 20 seconds, duration of say 60 seconds, exit, and now if I run it, you can see it says 50 users, duration for 60 seconds, and it's going to go to town, creating a bucket load of new users signed up to that website. So that's pretty cool. That will work great. Um, now I can show you uh, on my Mac here, so it's a Mac mini and um, I've got a console uh, view. So if I just show where I am, oops. I am in what directory? I'm in the dev web directory. I downloaded dev web. I didn't set any, any environment variables or anything. Um, I've just downloaded it uh, raw from uh, the uh, Load Runner developer web page. And I've set up the script that same script, but I, this time I put it in users, Paul McLean documents, dev web scripts demo one. Now, if I hit answer on that one, now we can see it's gonna run. Now, what I did notice is, this is not a super powerful uh, Mac mini, but it's definitely slower than Linux. I don't know why that is. Um, I don't know if it's a problem, but it's a bit on the slow side. Um, I've seen uh, VUGen do that in some of the older versions. Occasionally, after a restart, it would sort itself out. But this is going a little bit slow. But for the sake of um, the exercise, it, it doesn't really matter. But uh, what I will show you is let's, when it's finished doing its um, sign up, here we go. Looks like it's done. Oh, just about done. Okay, it's finished, everything passed. So we should get that email address. Uh, where is it? Jason Johnson, like that. Copy and uh, paste it in here. 
and we can see it's really done the sign up. It did it at 7.14 a.m., 12 seconds from the first step to the last step, and we can see 7.14. Uh, so that's all correct. Now notice I'm on Mac OS Catalina 15, sorry, 10 10.15.6. Now if I was to change that um, uh, that file, the uh, YAML file, let's just go back and instead of having dev web, let's just put in vi and scenario YAML. Um, oh, it's already got the 50 users and pacing uh, in there. So I don't need to do anything. All I need to do is run it with mode load, and then it will run it as a load test, which sort of makes sense. Now, when I run it as a load test, it definitely runs harder and it generates a fair bit of load, but just doesn't seem to be as fast as uh, the Windows version or the, the Linux version. But the main thing is that it works on all three platforms and it works really well and minimal setup, like it's quicker and easier than Windows for sure. So for all of you who are doing software development on those two platforms, this is super easy to use. Hope you found the video useful. I go back to the other video where I go through the whole process of doing the scripting and you can see what this script is doing and you can see the integration with um, uh, with InfluxDB and Grafana, and nothing stops you doing that, obviously, in these two platforms as well. Have a great day.